Lo-Fi Tano. Album review. Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, the internet's clumsiest music nerd. And it's time for a review of the new Orwell's record, Disgraceland. These guys are an Illinois rock outfit. This is their latest full-length LP. Haven't heard of them before, but checked out this record based upon a few tracks on it being hot, like Let It Burn and uh, Who Needs You. And these songs are all right. They're good singles. They're catchy. They're straightforward. Let It Burn has maybe one of the best choruses on the entire LP. I can see why these songs are popular, but they're singles. You know, you expect them to be kind of straightforward and um, just a little easier on the ears, maybe a bit more just covering, covering more bases, sounding like more artists, uh, just to kind of, you know, rope in a lot of different people. But going deeper into the record, I was just genuinely disappointed by nearly everything this album had to offer because it's just such bland, generic, safe garage rock. Uh, it's just so dime a dozen, man. And, and it just does not have, just does not have a real sense of grit to it, in my opinion. They've definitely got a lot of the production styles down. They're playing those garage, those modern garage rock revival riffs. But uh, there's everything on this album except a real sense of rebellion. Yeah, there's, there's a track on here that's sort of a, you know, screw you, Uncle Sam! And there are tracks on here that sort of allude to some bad behavior, but the way the music sounds on this record... <laughs> for, I was listening to the album and I caught myself thinking, like, has anybody in this band ever stayed up past 8 o'clock? Like... Or, or seen a rated R movie, and, and I'm sure they have, but I feel like I can give this album to, like, a, a child and not worry about it potentially corrupting them or anything, you know? Uh, especially, you know, with, like, these grade school level lyrics that are on this LP. Here we go. I, I have them in front of me over here. I, I have some of them in front of me. Uh, the, <laughs> the lyrics to the song, The Righteous One. Smoke in the air, I don't have a care. Double, 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 dare. Falling down the stairs, oh, but it's not fair. Don't touch your hair. It's not nice to stare, but it's not fair to let down your hair. Oh, I don't know where. Where, 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 I don't know where, 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 where to go. Yeah. And then there's, um, let's see, th these really are lyrics. Uh, <laughs> the song Dirty Sheets. From the East Coast to the West, we ain't the worst, we ain't the best. Drink all night, I'm such a mess. There's something missing in my chest. Show me the hill, show me the view. I swear I'm coming back for you. I lost my mind, I lost my shoe. I found myself when I found you. Open and shut that one. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> listen, I also have another list up here. This is a list of garage rock bands that are way more interesting, in my opinion, better. If you only listen to the Orwells and you don't listen to these bands, in my opinion, you are doing yourself a disservice. We live in America. You can listen to whatever garage rock band you want. But you should be listening to these artists either as well or instead. Uh, the Black Lips, who the Orwells actually borrow quite a bit from. There's actually a song on this record that sounds like they took the riff from O Katrina, chopped it in half, and then started playing it over some Pixies-type production. I don't know what the point there was, but... Uh, there you go. So the Black Lips. Listen to Good, Bad, Not Evil. Fantastic record. Listen to the Oblivions. Listen to the uh, late and great Jay Retard. Listen to his uh, 06, 07 singles collection. Blood Visions, 08 singles collection. Dead Moon is great. King Con and Barbecue Show. Or King Con and the Shrines, so though they do have more of like a soul influence there. Um, let's see. The Mummies. The Mummies are great. 
Um, Hot Snakes, though they do have a little bit more of a post-hardcore vibe, but do check out Hot Snakes. The OCs. I don't even like the OCs that much, aside from their first few records, but I would very much recommend them over this. There are actually quite a few garage rock bands I do not care for that I think I would recommend over this, like the Dirt Bombs. They're okay, but the Dirt Bombs, more interesting to me, as well as Fiddler. Not really crazy about Fiddler, but check out Fiddler. Check out Natural Child. Check out Brian Jones Town Massacre. Lots of interesting, really gritty, like, don't fucking show your mom this record. <laughs> sort of garage rock. And, you know, unless your mom is, like, a huge garage rock fan, then, then share the album with your mom. But, you know, not... This is some badass stuff. Whereas this Orwell's record, to me, is just so... It's just so PG. It's, it's, it's just barely PG-13. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's my thoughts. And um, you can totally disagree. You can hate me. And you don't have to listen to any of these bands either. I'm just recommending. And that's it. Have a nice day. Anthony Fantano. The Orwell's forever.